Hey guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. Happy New Year's. I hope you guys are having a wonderful year starting off in the January. Um, I just wanted to come on here and give you guys a little update on my life because it has been four months since I've been unemployed and it has been a roller coaster and it's been fun and it's been a lot of emotions into it. It has just been outrageous, but for the most part, I am so grateful and so inspired by the things that I have accomplished. I, I've i just been so happy and so... It's basically like I have retired very soon. <laughs> but didn't have like a backup plan or anything like that. And didn't know where I was going to go. And I still don't know. Like, I mean, my previous videos has been like just not knowing of where I'm going and how this is all gonna play out but I feel like it's it's been a long ride but it's also been very rewarding and I am learning a lot from this experience and things that I would or wouldn't do again I think maybe maybe I don't know but I don't regret anything that happened or has happened or um, I have no regrets in life and that's something that I love that I don't have regrets because everything happens for a reason for me. So, okay, so let's just get into it. So I have been unemployed for four months already. And if you don't know that story, you can look back into my old videos. Um, so I have been basically making beanies and headbands. I'll show you guys. Well, I've been making beanies. I've been making headbands. I've been making other headbands that are thicker and durable. Like I have been just making a lot of stuff. <laughs> I even made this sweater. I love it. Um, I'm just learning new things and I'm just enjoying every single second of what I'm doing. Like I didn't even imagine this because it's like even possible. I started a business, you guys. I started a freaking business. Like I didn't even think this was possible. I didn't even think this was in the books for me. I didn't even think a person like me or I, like not having a job, not knowing, not having any money. Like I did have money. I did have savings. I mean, that's all gone now. Like, re like fast forward to now, like my business is called Raspberry Fly. So the new business is currently on Etsy. I I'm on Etsy now. <laughs> I it's been a roller coaster. I'm telling you, this four months I've been busy. I've been just crocheting. I've been just doing everything that I can to be to learn new things, to grow, to be a better person, to educate myself in this business world and small businesses. Like I've been just trying out here. <laughs> and I also have a website. It's just like insane. Like Etsy has like a lot of of opportunities on there, especially make your own website through them. Um I got the domain for my for my name and it has been awesome like learning all these new things. I mean looking at YouTube because I don't even know how to use that see. I don't even know how to use be having a domain in my name of my business. So it was it's very, very educational that I've been going through learning step by step. Yeah, I've just been learning a lot and so far so good. Um I started very late in the season, so I was like trying to relearn how to crochet. Uh, I crocheted when I was little and I don't know how to knit, but I do know how to crochet. And I was trying to reteach myself because I was learned, I was taught by my aunt and my grandmother. And so I had to reteach myself how to crochet, how to do every single stitch out there. You know, there's a lot, like it's crazy. Um, so yeah, so basically it's up, it's running, it's there. Um, I started in November. I did, I was employed since September. So I kind of like wanted to see where, I just wanted to take a month off, I guess. And now I'm back on it. In November, I started Etsy and I think it was like a really, I don't know, maybe it's not too late or not. But yeah, so I started in November and I didn't start Etsy 
I didn't have my website until December, so I was like kind of like, you know, backtrack. And so I'm preparing for next season. Um, and I'm also preparing for the fall for summer. Like I'm doing bags right now. Currently working on a mesh bag so you can take it at farmers markets and just putting your you know oranges apples bananas and it's just a mesh bag that just like holds everything in i pretty sure you guys know what i'm talking about but yeah so i'm pretty excited to learn like new things and new patterns and new things that i can create with my hands like has there been issues yeah like my hands hurt like <laughs> i mean i was trying i've been wearing um i actually broke broke this arm but i've been wearing um wristbands and like I even have KT tape on sometimes going to sleep. There has been obstacles but I enjoy it very very like I just enjoy it so much. Um, It's not a 9 to 5 job. It's not somebody that I'm my own boss you know and it's very it's very rewarding. It's very rewarding and I don't even know if I could go back to a work environment. I I don't know. We'll see. We'll see where it takes me. But I, for sure, I want to keep doing this. I want to keep evolving in life. And it's a great start to the 2023. I, I can't even explain to you guys how crazy this has been. Like, I started a business. Like, I started my own little it's little right now, but it's it's still something. It's still there. It's still on the web. It's still... I have a website. Like, I didn't even think I would even have all this. Like, it's just mind-blowing. Like, I have to get, give myself more credit, even though I'm, like, on the go, on the go, on the go. But I still have to give myself a little bit more credit than I have been giving myself. So, um... So yeah, so that's what's been interesting and I have a lot of goals that I want to accomplish 2023 and I feel like I really want to do like a market, be a part of something, um, a farmer's market maybe or any type of market that's out there to sell stuff. I think that would be beneficial to me, but that's, that's over there, way there. We'll see. We'll see. Um, I'm still trying to get my head around wrap around it because I don't know how to sell stuff like I don't like I know I have my stuff I have my products I have what I feel like I did a good job in I made this by hand like it's mine it's it's something that I I created but it's still nerve-wracking because it's like you don't know what people are gonna say about your stuff you don't know it's just a lot I'm just in my head right now but I'm just saying there's a lot that goes into it so that's what's going on that's what I've been doing for the four months that I have been unemployed and I freaking love it if you whoever's out there listening to this or watching this like I feel like if you want to do something even if the economy is like trash right now but I feel if you have something that is true to your heart and is creative like it's being creative it's being something that you want to contribute to this world so it's it's something it's something that you want in your life it's something that you you embrace it i'm telling you once you start it it's gonna once you start it it's just it's just gonna flourish from there it's literally gonna take off if you keep at it if you keep doing it it will it will happen and and then you'll look back just how I am looking back like how did I start this like wow like that's just crazy like I always see people talking about it and saying oh I, I started my business and you know you can too and like I'm like yeah right you know but and I have a lot of support on my side. I have family that supports me. I have friends, families, loved ones. Like, um, my man, he's been supporting me so much. Like, telling me to keep going, crying every, like, not every night, but, like, crying when I have, like, a breakdown or something. Like, he's been there for everything. Like, it's hard. It's very hard. But the reward is so much rewarding <laughs> if that makes sense I don't know but it's 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 hard but it's 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 worth it it's it's freaking worth it like it is so worth it that I would tell anybody to do this or go towards your dream it doesn't even need to be a 
business. It doesn't even need to be something like this. It could be anything. It literally could be anything. It could be like if you want to take that trip, if you like do it, like money is not everything. Money is not, yeah, yeah, you need money to like pay rent. Yeah, you need money for everything else. But it's like the memories. It's like if, even if right now I have no money right now, like I have some, but I have no money. Like I spent all my money from the four months that I had saved up. And, you know, I might have to go get a part time job somewhere and you know I might go to Michael's I might go to Hobby Lobby and be an employee part-time you know but I'm gonna still continue this because I believe in this I believe in what I'm making I just feel like something big is gonna happen like not big but like I just feel like some like I just have to keep going at it something's telling me to keep going I keep keep going at it and I'm gonna do that because I'm going to listen to myself. I'm going to listen to my gut. I'm going to listen to the people around me to say, like, I have good quality stuff. I, I never even knew I could do a sweater. Like, it's just mind-blowing. I have another sweater that I did, and it's just I haven't put these up on there because these take forever, but... <laughs> I mean, it's just, it's a lot, but it's very rewarding and I, I'm loving every single second of it, every single second of it, even if I feel very isolated at home, even though um, you're working from home, I still feel like I can do this, I can make this as a business, I can, I, I can do this, you know, and so we need to talk ourselves into it, we need, like, every single day, you practically need to because it's something that you don't know for a fact it's gonna turn out great you don't know what the future holds you don't know anything like it's it's very intense but you just need to go with it like literally just go with it <laughs> and see what happens and if it doesn't then you tried then you freaking tried because you know and even even if i do this like i freaking tried it i tried it out didn't go so great maybe maybe not i don't know but at least i tried at least i did it and if i need to go find a part-time job somewhere because i have no money right now then so be it but i'm not gonna stop doing this doing what i love because i love this and i might and i might start off maybe just with this maybe just with that like the headbands the beanies and it, it might develop to something different and it might open doors to other things it might open my eyes to doing something else like it's a start it's somewhere to start and that's what it all counts to i'm loving this i feel like i'm just a new person i'm i really feel like i'm a new person i really feel like i have i have grown in so many ways and i'm really enjoying it so 2023 is here it is here to stay I could complete my goals and I can start what I need to be started. I want to start a healthy lifestyle. I want to lose literally maybe a hundred pounds. Like there's a lot that I need to do in 2023 and I have no time to be being lazy, being anything. I have goals in my life. I, oh, I turned 30, 30. I turned 30 years old. I, January I in the beginning of January January 8th I I I turned 30 like crazy but I turned 30 and I have a lot I want to get married I want to have kids I clock is ticking I want to do a lot of stuff with my life and need to have a steady income I need to have I need to get insurance I haven't had insurance for four months like <laughs> I mean, I put in the process, I put everything in there, but but nothing. So I'm just really looking forward to this year. I don't know where it's going to lead me. I don't know. You don't know anything, but I do know that I do not want to be at a nine to five job doing the same thing over and over again until I die. Like, I just don't want to do that. I just, no, it's just not for me. It's, I need to be doing stuff with my hands. I need to be doing stuff like visually. I need to be doing, I just need to be doing things like that benefit me, not benefit somebody else. Like benefits me and it gives me a purpose of what I'm doing. Working for myself has been the best decision ever. I don't regret anything. I, well, mm. I regret not having a plan A, B, C, or D, or E, or F. And I regret not having maybe a part-time job before I quit my last job. I do feel like if I didn't make that step, if I didn't leave at the time that I left, I think I would still be there and dreading every single second of it. And I would not be happy at all. <laughs> and it's hard, even in this, in this stage of my life, like, it's hard to enjoy it because 
your mind is always like, what's going to happen next? Like, you better save your money. What What are you spending it on? All this other stuff, it goes through your head. It goes through through people's minds. Like, it's some, it's obviously a lot to think about and, and it's scary. But I am so grateful for the family that I have. So grateful for my mom to like, if, if I need the money, like, she's there to give it to me. But like... I don't want to get to that point where I have to do that. So basically, I'm definitely going to have to get a part-time job or a full-time job. But I think I want to do a part-time job for now and see where that goes so I can still have this as a full-time and have a part-time. Yeah, I think that would be the best solution for me. But yeah, I would definitely have had a plan B and had a, had a, had a job lined up for myself before I quit. I mean, just saying, but I think I wouldn't have been pushed enough to do what I've been, what I have done. Like, I just, like, jumped right into this, you know, and so I think that benefited me a whole lot of, you know, because it's, like, do or die. Not really die, but, like, you know, do or don't in this situation. So, yeah, it's been, it's been a lot these past four months so it is 2023 and i am looking forward to exploring new things exploring new patterns new things that i can do for me the whole world is at my hands like of what i can create what i can do it's it's i just don't have words for it i really don't so and i want to be doing more of youtube videos like uh, like, I have so much time to do that. Not even. I don't even have time. But, like, now I do have time. But, like, in reality, I don't have time because my hands are just, like, working and stuff. But, like, I, like, editing and stuff is just, like, uh. But I do want to start doing it regularly, very regularly, because I have a lot of projects that I want to do. I'm gardening outside. Probably the next video is going to be about gardening. I did, um, I'm going to be doing some crops, herbs, food, stuff like that flowers I have up next to um growing them from seed I have the seeds I love gardening I just want to show everything that I love that I'm doing maybe have full-time YouTube my business maybe as well <sighs> there's a lot yeah so there's this may be full-time as well so I have a lot on my plate and we will see where where it goes and what happens because we just don't know I'm gonna end it here with this video I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope you guys have goals out there as well. Like, new year, new resolutions, new me. It's a thing. It's a thing. Even if you're in the middle of the year, do it. Do a new you. It happens. So, I mean, if you guys have any resolutions that you guys are thinking about, please drop it down on the comments because I need some resolutions as well. Not just losing weight, not just eating healthy. I want to do other things too. I want to do, I need a bucket list. I need to do something with my life. Like, or even tell me what I would be great at as, if there's any job listings, please send them my way. But, <laughs> but with that said, thank you guys for watching and we will see you guys in the next video. Bye guys.